Hello, welcome back to Red Words with Miss Adrian. Today we're going to learn the word C. A three letter word, S E E C, as in I see a bluebird. If you're looking out the window, maybe you would say that, or um, sometimes this word is used to relay that you understand something. Um, you could say, Oh, I see. Or you could say, I see the stop sign, something like that. So I'm sure that you use this word a lot and see this word a lot. So we're gonna make sure we can always spell it and read it. So I'm gonna first get that bumpy screen, get your red crayon, and let's trace over top of this word three times. Ready, go. S E E C S E E C S E E C Okay that part is finished now we will do the arm tap to look straight at it ready go C S E E C C, S E E C, C, S E E C. All right, next is the finger trace. Ready, go. S E E C, S E E C, S E E C. S -E -E -C. Okay, next sky right. S E E C S E E C S E E C. Okay, let's write that word in the corner of our paper with the red crown. Ready, go. S E E C S E E C S E E C Okay, are you all finished? Now put it down so the blank side is facing you and see if you can remember how do you spell the word C? S E E C. Great. Next, it is time for the whiteboard. Right here. Here we go. Now, I'm going to write our red word at the top. S E E C. And let's say I see the playground. That's always an exciting thing to find if you're looking for a playground in a new place. Okay, let's write our sentence. I, ooh, that's another red word. You'll have to remember how to write that. C, the playground. All right, playground is a big long word. I see the playground. Does your board look like this? With a capital I and then S-E-E-C, the playground and a period afterward. Actually, I'm gonna change that to an exclamation point because it's exciting to find a playground to play on. Great job. Now we have our practice card. Next, I will ask you to erase your whiteboard. And then write these red words as I say them. Okay? Let's first write 
and A N D and did you get it? Next is like it is sunny. Is I S is next I it's always capital in a sentence. Next word, the. T-H-E, the. So if you misspell one of these words, all you have to do is pause the video and you can do a quick red word um, activity with this. You know, even though we've done it before, you could, do the, T-H-E, the, for practice. For, like this is for you. F-O-R, for. Uh, how do you spell the sound uh? Like I saw a ball. Just the letter A says that. And now we have another card. So before we finish, I'm going to ask you to read these. Alrighty? You say it and then I'll say it and see if you're right or if you get to practice your red word. And is I, the, four, a, uh. great job. So with all that practice, what I'm going to do is graduate a couple of words that I'm pretty confident that you're getting to know this. Always have the capital as an I in a sentence and this letter, when it's in a sentence and you read it as a word, it says, uh, I have a brother. All right, so we're gonna graduate those, congratulations. And we have our pile that we can review next time when we learn a new red word. Thank you for following along and I hope to see you in person soon. Good practicing while you're doing virtual learning and we'll see you later, bye.